What's up y'all? Welcome back to Lisa's Food Addiction. I am Lisa and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a dish that reminds me so much of home. We are making low country shrimp and grits. If you guys did not know I grew up in the lovely low country area of South Carolina very close to Charleston and Myrtle Beach both areas that are considered to be seafood capitals. Fresh blue crabs, juicy oysters, and of course that sweet Carolina shrimp. One one of the most popular dishes has to be shrimp and grits. This dish uses the most humble ingredients and is best when done fresh. If you are ready to learn how to make this low country shrimp and grits, hit that subscribe button and let's get cooking. What makes low country shrimp and grits what it is, you guys, is simplicity. Simple ingredients that pack a lot of flavor. So we're gonna start off by dicing a yellow onion. The traditional flavor of this dish comes from lots of onions and bacon. So we're going to dice up some onions, green bell peppers, and garlic. Put that to the side, and then we're going to work on our bacon. So you guys, very simple ingredients that we are working with in this recipe. Bacon, along with the onion and garlic, is a key ingredient in low country shrimp and grits. As you are cooking and tasting this recipe, you will realize that the bacon is not holding back. That bacon is going to be bringing a lot of the flavor and pizzazz to this recipe. Now that we have our skillet heating up, we're just going to go in with some diced bacon. We're also going to add in about an eighth a teaspoon of black pepper just to give our bacon a little bit of flavor. Our cast iron skillet is nice and hot, which is perfect. And guys, we're just going to cook this bacon until it gets nice and crispy. It turns in color, that very bacony brown color that we all know and love. For our low country shrimp and grits, guys, we want to make sure that we are using a heavier skillet to cook in, preferably a cast iron skillet this will ensure that we get those nice brown bits for our gravy all right our bacon is done and it is nice and crispy we have all of those brown bits left in the pan which is going to be extra delicious in our gravy now we're just going to remove all of our bacon and we're going to keep all of that bacon grease right in that pan leave it all in there straight into this bacon grease add in all of your onions and peppers we're going to cook this until it's translucent now that our green bell peppers and yellow onions are starting to become translucent, we are going to go in with that garlic. The garlic, you guys, is a very flavorful yet simple ingredient that is also a key in our low country shrimp and grits. This garlic is going to add tons of flavor to our dish. It's really going to enhance the shrimp flavor and it's going to make our gravy very, very tasty. Now that we have that garlic in there and it's smelling real good, we are going to hit this with a little bit of all-purpose flour this is going to begin the roux for our gravy so guys let's talk about this gravy for our shrimp and grits you definitely want to have a lighter gravy when it comes to low country shrimp and grits typically you don't see a darker or browner gravy and that comes from cooking your roux for a shorter amount of time because we want a lighter gravy, we're just gonna let this cook for about five to seven minutes or basically until you've cooked all of the flour out and you kind of see a nice light brown color forming. While that roux is finishing up, you guys, we are going to quickly work on our shrimp. So we are going to go in with garlic powder, Creole seasoning, and a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. This recipe calls for a half a cup of all-purpose flour. So we are going to go in with a fourth a cup in our roux and the other fourth a cup will go on our shrimp. Because this recipe calls for such simple ingredients, you want to make sure that the ingredients you are choosing are fresh, flavorful, and great quality, of course. So once we have the shrimp coated in that flour and those seasonings, we're going to add them right in the pan with our onions and peppers. Get those shrimp nestled in all of those delicious onions and bell peppers. We're going to cook this shrimp, guys, for one to two minutes, just until we can see the flour and shrimp are changing in color a bit. Mm -hmm. 
So now that our shrimp and flour has changed in color, we are gonna hit this with a little bit of water. We are killing it with the easy ingredients, you guys. That's what this recipe is about. Low Country Shrimp and Grits is simple. It's basic, it's no frills, no fuss. You don't have to dress it up. You don't have to do anything fancy, anything too hard. It's just all about simple, humble ingredients, creating a delicious, delicious meal. So we're gonna go in with a cup and a half of water and this is basically gonna take us from the roux stage to the gravy stage. Yay, that is what we want, you guys. And we're also gonna keep just a little bit of water on the side of our pan as we are cooking in case our gravy decides it's going to thicken up a little bit. We may want to loosen it. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes and let our gravy start to form, let it start to get in its groove. Once it is done, we are going to season this, okay? Okay, so like I have been preaching this entire video, this recipe is simple. It's all about simplicity. So as far as the seasonings, I mean, we're gonna keep it simple there as well. We're going to add in some garlic and onion powder, Tony's Creole seasoning, salt and pepper, and a pinch of lorries. And yes, you guys, that is it. That is all. This recipe is amazing. Like I said, no frills, no fuss. Just get in there and get it done. Simple ingredients for a delicious meal. Once we have all of our seasonings mixed in, we're going to add in some butter and we are also going to go in with a little bit more water. Like I said earlier, I kept some off to the side and I wanted to thin out my gravy a bit more. Once you have a good consistency, we're going to add in half of our bacon that we cooked earlier and we're going to save the rest of our bacon to top off our finished shrimp and grits with. This is pretty much done, y'all. We have that onion in there, garlic, bell pepper, the flour, bacon fat, fresh shrimp, and simple seasonings. We're going to pop a lid on this bad boy and get started on our grits. So let's talk about grits, you guys. Grits are extremely popular in the low country. You have your yellow grits and you have your white grits. For this recipe today, we are going to be using white stone ground grits. In this pot right here, you guys, I already have some milk and some water heating up. We're going to let this heat up and we're also going to add in a dash of salt. Once this milk and water has reached a boil, we are going to whisk our grits in. And you want to do this fairly quickly. When we whisk the grits, we are trying to eliminate the chance of getting lumps because, honey, you don't want to have any lumps in your grits now. That's when people will talk about you. Give a southerner a lumpy grit and, child, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to make grits anymore. Growing up, you guys, I ate a lot of grits, okay? My mom always made it with stewed tomatoes or fried fish or salmon patties, which was one of my favorites. Comment down below, you guys, if you've even had a salmon patty before. Have you ever heard of a salmon patty? So once our grits are done, we're just going to remove them off of the heat and add in about six tablespoons of butter. We're gonna give our butter time to melt and just continue mixing our grits and let them continue to thicken up. Yes, come on grits, they are nice and thick and you know you did good if you can stick that whisk in there and it holds up all by itself. Somebody's grandma is smiling somewhere, you guys. We did a great job on these grits. Now y'all, it's time to eat, okay? Grab a serving dish. We're going to go in with good heapings of those creamy grits, you guys. These grits right here, these grits right here are on another level. They are so creamy, perfectly salted, perfect amount of butter. Add your shrimp and gravy on top. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We're gonna top it off with the rest of that crispy bacon. Grab a fork and go in, y'all. This recipe tastes like home, you guys. It reminds me of the beach water, the smell of the ocean, fresh seafood, good vibes with family and friends, and of course, good food. You guys, you have to make this for everyone that you know. Call the neighborhood, your friends, your family, all over to experience a little bit of the low country through this shrimp and grits. Fresh shrimp, savory gravy, all over creamy grits, a one-of-a-kind dish made from humble ingredients. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a piece of what I call home. Like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more videos, turn on your post notification bell and I will talk to you guys next time. Later, y'all.